Hi everyone, missed you all. Welcome to my series. I'm gonna do a three-day series of Christmas in July. I don't think I can handle 12, but I hope that you guys are able to see this one because it's definitely a larger like wallet album. I did not come up with this brilliant idea. I had found this on Pinterest by a blog called See One Make One, and it's a really old blog, but um, she just it was just a really brilliant little tutorial and I wanted to recreate it and I actually did follow each measurement that she did so I did exactly the way that she had done it I just added you know my own little twist to it so um so cute right this is a little doodle bug so you open it up and I obviously switched the pockets to vellum and it's so cute because it opens up like a real wallet and then look, even here it looks like a little like checkbook. So this would be great for like a photo album actually. Um, but, you know, really cute for pen pals. So when you open it, it doesn't just open once, it actually opens again. And you have a pocket here and then just little decor. These actually, the Stoodle Bug design, it fit amazingly well on this page. I couldn't believe how it fits so well. But um yeah, it flips out, or I thought an alternative you can do is actually seal this, and you can make a top pocket if you want. So if you don't need all this space, you can definitely do that. Um, I almost had considered doing that, but I wanted to actually leave this the original way. So then, and the same on the other side. Sorry, this thing is like oversized. Um, and then you can see you have another pocket, and then you have your little decoration. So it's really cute though, right? Like it's like, it looks like a, um, like a wallet checkbook and it doesn't matter which side you put that on. It just will flip it either way. Um, and also when you open it, it's another pocket and I added more vellum here so you can see uh, that you can add snail mail goodies in here just fine because it does have a little layer um, when you fold it. So I'll show you. So you can see you have a little bit extra wiggle room in there to add stuff that you want. So this is so fun and easy to make. I can't wait to make this. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this. All right, so we're gonna start off with, and I'm not even using heavy cardstock. I'm just using, I'm gonna show you what I'm using. It's not, I mean, it feels thicker. They don't call it cardstock. It's just a paper pad from Michael's, the Recollections. And it's really not that very heavy weight. So um, if you want this thinner, you could probably just do it on scrapbook paper and not even do this part, but I'm going to give all the measurements so that we can cover the whole album together. So I'm grabbing a piece of that sheet. It's just a 12, 12 by 12 paper. And we're going to start, you know, obviously it doesn't matter which side you're scoring this on. So the first scores are going to be two and a half and nine and a half inches. So two and a half and nine and a half. And sorry for those who can't see me overhead. I know uh, I tried that, didn't like it. So I'm gonna have to go back to that and revisit it. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and flip it just 90 degree. And now we're gonna score it at three and three quarters, four, eight, and eight and a quarter. So starting with three and three quarters, and four, it's gonna give us that little double line. Okay, and then eight, it's actually hard to remember when it's not my own measurement, and eight and a quarter. All right, so we're gonna have like this tic-tac-toe thing going on, okay? Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut all the corners, all these small little corners we're gonna cut, including that little double line. So we're just gonna start off here. And it's just like those like pen pal flip books, you know? I've actually had requests for those, uh, several. So this is actually a really great album. So you can see how I cut it. Now we're just gonna do all four. And don't forget to cut the double section. You want that off too. So I'll show you. Just like that, okay? Yep, that's what you're cutting off. So it's gonna look like that. And then I'm gonna cut these two off. Right here. 
And sorry if I sound a little nasally still. It was actually just a really light head cold. But, um, you would have thought my husband had something else. <laughs> I'm sure most of you can relate. Okay, this last one, the fourth one. snip and you can save these little scraps for whatever else you want to do I'm just gonna as she had actually um, did something with this and I, I don't remember what it was okay so now you can see we're kind of getting our little base down so go ahead and um, I want you to see it so you know what you're cutting I'm gonna go ahead and fold it down toward you know inward towards you so just fold your scores is pretty simple and then we're gonna do the extension so as you can see a normal flip book would just be like this and I mean you're more than welcome to leave it just like that too and do the uh, wallet but we're just gonna extend this because I know many of you say you love the little flippy things I do too I think they're really fun and I think if anyone opens it up in the mail is gonna love it so it's going to fold like that pretty easy right just like that and next we're gonna go ahead and take for the arms they're gonna be two of these four by 12 papers okay so two of them right here and you can either fold it in half or score it at the six inch mark that's just in the middle so right here and right here you're probably wondering how you got the arms on there so long and this is all you do if you want to extend something especially when it's a 12 by 12 paper because most of us work with 8 by 8 12 by 12 6 by 6 so this is a fun way to extend it okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to start off with putting these on because we're going to punch a little like pocket hole so let me dig through my pile here. So these, we're gonna have two of these, okay? They're gonna be two and a quarter by three and three quarters. All right, so we're gonna add those just right here on your side pockets. Let me make sure I have this view going on here. This thing is so big, so. Or maybe I'm just so used to working on mini albums um, this seems huge to me. Here's the second one. Oh, by the way, I have to say this. The third contestant that won did not contact me. So I still have one thing. I hope that um, I have to find the thread and I hope they contact me. Otherwise, I still have a coupon code left. So let me see what happens with that, you guys. Um, okay, I don't know how people usually do that, but I definitely don't want to waste the coupon code and they don't contact me. I'm going to definitely figure something out for that. Okay, so go ahead and punch that hole right there. I'm using my two inch, is it two inch? Hold on. Yeah, my two inch punch. Okay, so it looks like this. And then grab your arms which, where did I put them? Okay, and it's gonna go on like that. So just take your page and we're gonna just glue right here. Right there. Oh wait, and let me cover this. Actually, hold on, I didn't cover this. So wait, before I put that on, let me cover this so it doesn't look funky. So we're gonna need eight of these. So if you wanna go ahead and cut eight of these out, it's three and three quarters by five and three quarters, okay? We're gonna use all these, and I paired them up so that they match, but you don't have to do that. Um, let me think here, what colors am I gonna use? I'm gonna maybe use these two. So before I pop that on, let me go ahead and do this. Okay, 
Okay, so it's gonna go on here. And she didn't actually cover that part, but I'm gonna go ahead and I covered mine. So let me do my other side too. Just remember your other side is gonna go this way because you're folding it in. So let me go ahead and do that. Isn't this collection really cutesy? I know, I don't really always do cutesy, but um, I like it sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I get too much though and I have too much left over and I don't know what to do with it. Usually I make little girl birthday cards because we have a lot of girl parties we go to more than boys and I just save it for that. <clears throat> okay, so it's gonna look like this. And now we're gonna go ahead and glue that down. Now let me re-add my glue because it's probably not gonna stick. And then we'll fill the rest. Okay, and okay, I wanna show you this. So when you fold this, don't do the very, like right here. Just give it a little bit of wiggle room right there because when you fold it, like I just did, oh no, hold on. You want it to have a little bit of room when you fold it in. I'll show you. See how I have like that little extra space right there? Because when you go like that, it can just interfere with it. So make sure you just have like, like a little bit of space right there. Okay, and then when you open it, you're gonna have that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Ooh, it had, I have the best lighting in here and now it's getting gray. It's been like raining on and off all week from, uh, is it Elsa? The hurricane out there or a tropical storm. Okay, again, I'm just giving it a little bit of room. <clears throat> or maybe I gave it too much room right there. Sorry, I can't see with the Scion and Scion. Oh, let me put this up a little higher. <clears throat> okay, so sorry you can't get that complete view. So we have to do this right here, and we have to do this one. So I'm just gonna do this side real quick. Let me pick. You know what, I just, I realized it only cut um, six of these out, but I have to cut eight. So again, we're doing the three by three, three by three and fourth, <laughs> Three and three quarters by five and three quarters, okay? For the edges, it's the same exact size as this. I feel like this is so busy. I think you guys are gonna think the same thing. So I do like all the prints, but that might be a stock, hold on. Gotta get my little pin out. I'm hoping my iPad doesn't die because I realized when I started filming it was super low. If it does, I'm just going to make a part two. I'm just trying to beat the clock right now. And yes, I've been asked with the art glitter glue a few times. I have not used it. I would love to try. I'm not opposed to trying anything, but I did read on the review that it said... Um, it said something, it's something toxic and I'm not cool with that. And I like that this is non-toxic. So I don't know how much better it can be, but I'm a little bit of a freak about that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to go with this for now <laughs> after reading that because I thought I wanted to try it and I was like, hmm, I don't know. Okay. Again, just doing the same measurement, three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I really love my Rarely Arts glue. I don't have any problems with it. Only problem I personally have is me not covering the cap. So I constantly clog it that way. But that's not the glue. That's human error. Okay, so both those sides are done. Let's see. So now I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, no, I do have enough, don't I? No, I need one more to cut out. Okay, so I'm gonna do these parts. Again, doing the same measurement, three and a quarter. So they're all the same size, obviously. I'm gonna have to cut out two more of these. 
because I missed it. I, I cut out six instead of eight. So putting that down. And put it down here. So it kind of looks like a candy cane when you open it. So again, two of these. I'm just doing this so I, because you know, some of the international, three and three quarter by five and three quarter. Just adding these. It's gonna be super red. I didn't mean to do it that way, but. Okay, so all of this is totally filled up. And now I'm just gonna do the side. Oops. And you can, like I said, um, if you don't want to do all of this, just make this a pocket and seal it up right now. And you don't have to do the inside or outside. You can just make a pocket and clink. So there's that. And then we want to corner around these top and bottom pages. Should have done that in the beginning. Oops, that was really awful. Hold on, I'm gonna fold these up. Okay, so let's do this top piece right up here. Actually, let's do the cover. So three of these, three and a half, by six and three quarters. Okay, so there's three of them. And I'm gonna do the top. So I'm just gonna do the cover right here. So I don't confuse you. Let me close this up and shut this. And I'm gonna just corner around the bottom like it is on the bottom page. And yes, I'm using the double-sided because it is double-sided paper, but you don't really need it for this album. It's always hard deciding, right? Okay, so for this bottom one, so I did that, and I'm gonna do the bottom right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and corner around the top. It's gonna be here. I don't want it to be too Santa-ish. Sorry, my glue's running out. I have to run it under the hot water again, and I just haven't. I should have really refilled this before I started filming. But you guys know me. Okay, so it's going to go like that, and now we're going to do this top piece right here, it's going to be that. Again, I'm going to just corner around the top, pull it down again. So yeah, no, when we were at my parents' house, my husband was like acting so sick. Mom's like, I think we need to bring him to the hospital. And I was like, Mom, trust me, he's fine. <laughs> and I get the same thing, and you know, and I know many of you can relate. It's literally a man flu versus a head cold, right? It was a head cold, you guys. 
Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna do this middle piece. The middle is gonna be three and three quarters by six and three quarters. Okay, this is just a little bit bigger in the middle. So I'm gonna put that down right there. Oh, the gingerbread was cute. I hate to say goodbye, guys, but I didn't realize that you were on the back. Okay, and then this last piece, that little checkbook part, is going to be six and three quarters by seven. Well, let me flip this in real quick. And we're going to lay it at the seven inch score and score it at three and a half inches. Aww. And it's in here, and he's having puppy dreams right now. Okay, so three and a half. realize that was on that side I would not have used this paper and that's going to be that little like checkbook part and we do round all of these so I'm keeping it folded in half and rounding it off so it's like this I didn't mean for this to be inside but I have like three things to upload and I just like my brain was in such a fog I could not get a tutorial done. So la. Okay, and next we're doing our little vellum pockets. Oh, it's getting messy over here, you guys. My fingers are like gluey. Sorry, that's not my skin, that's glue. Okay, so that little top vellum pocket is just gonna be two by six and three quarters. And I added some skinny double-sided tape just three times here, here, and here. My desk is a mess right now. I literally shoved everything to the side. I'm sure you guys can see that too in some of my videos. I have no shame when it comes to that. Okay, so that one's just gonna go right up here. That's every crafter, right? Oh, I just kind of pushed it off just a notch, but there's that. And then this one right here is gonna be two and a half by six and three quarters. So I just bumped it up about a half an inch to give it a deeper pocket. And again, double-sided tape three times, or you can glue it. I just feel like with vellum, you definitely wanna use tape so it looks a little bit cleaner. And I'm gonna pop that on there. Yay, we got the base down. Now let me see if we can decorate this before my iPad dies. So sorry if I sped it up a little bit. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. That and the fact that I really want to get this tutorial up for you all. Oh, how cute, look, look, this is so funny. They have the, per this is like the perfect tutorial for this paper because it fits the size great. I just, like I didn't plan it, I just happened to do this, but it um, measures out for this album. Like I don't think I'd ever be able to use that um, for any of the project, okay? And then, I'm trying to find some little pieces to put in there. Oh my goodness, I have glue everywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna put some pieces in here. And then I'm gonna add a die on there. I'm using my foam tape, by the way. Why did I put on the front? I put this really cute little girl here. It came out really, really cute. But I don't think I have one that big. So let me just do kind of a basic one. And then let me see if I have a sticker for this. Just something to contrast with it. Sticker. 
I mean, there's so much to decorate here, as you could see. Let me just put some stuff inside so you can see. This would be kind of cute here because the red, all that red that I used. And also, I have put some lettering right here. Some more foam tape. Let's see how this looks. Oh, I didn't mean to put that right in the middle because I had that there. Mm. You know, be cute here is maybe the little guys on the chair with something. And look, there's another guy, so I can put him on the other side. I'm folding it the wrong way too, just so I can show you in the view. Let me see. It actually goes like flips this way. So you open it and flip it, and he's up there. So, oh, look, there's a boy one. I could have used that one. Is it too late? Let me see. be like the girl but a boy version and honestly this does look like a boy version and then maybe I can just put this here I'm just kind of adding it and let me put something over here I'm just going to stick some things in here so you can see Oh, this one's cute. The little hot chocolate. Let's see here. I can get this foam tape off. Jason's still recording, okay? So here. So look at how cute this one is. So it looks like that. Sorry, this view must be very hard to see for this one because I know this is a really long album. So I'm just going to stick this in a pocket just to get the idea. Oops, I had this folded wrong. Again, you can fold it either way, but anyway, you guys get the idea. So here it is. So cute and fun. Um, let me see. I didn't put anything there, but something there would be cute. And then I got this little checkbook cart that you could put. And then your little flip out with your pocket. And then your other one. Really fun. I think you guys will have a really good time with this, especially if you share um, pictures and albums and things like that to your family. All right, you guys. And by the way, um, if you do add Velcro on here, put it at the very top because it will interfere with your pocket. I did test that. That's why I just did the string and added um, the two little balls at the end. I just did this. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks so much.